Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. So you got your new graphics card, huh? After what felt like an eternity of low frame rates and 720p gaming, you're ready for the big leagues with your new RX 590 or another Pascal GPU depending on how I word the title. Well, before you get to owning Bush Campers and Fortnite, make sure to do these four things. But first, a big thanks to PowerColor for supplying my RX 590 today. They were happy to get the card out to me, and I seriously appreciate it. The card is definitely great, and the build quality on their Red Devil series is amazing. So thanks again for that. Now let's get started. If you swapped out another card for the new AMD GPU, it's best to uninstall your old graphics drivers before installing new ones. And while most people only suggest to do this when swapping from one manufacturer to the other, meaning in this case from Nvidia to AMD, I personally suggest doing it no matter what. So even if you're switching from one AMD GPU to the RX 590, you can still run into issues. First, download the Radeon software on AMD's site, which I'll have linked in the description. Don't use the automatic tool either, just select your graphics card, then operating system and download the driver. Don't install it yet though. First, head to your control panel and click uninstall a program. Find your current driver and double click it to begin the uninstall process. And if you ever have an issue after installing the new drivers, you may need to use a driver cleanup program to completely remove your old driver, like its registry keys, etc. I'll have a free one linked in the description, but only do this as a last resort. After it's uninstalled, go back and install the corresponding Radeon software from AMD's site. Currently, it's the Adrenaline software, and it comes with some pretty sweet features that rival or best NVIDIA's GeForce Experience software. Before moving on to the next step though, also make sure you've installed the latest version of your current Windows operating system. Well, assuming you're on Windows. Next up, after ensuring both Windows and your Radeon drivers are up to date, go ahead and launch your Radeon settings software. Then head to Gaming and Global Settings. In here, you want to make sure most of these settings are handled by each application. That lets you set the best settings for each game since every video game's performance varies widely. Next is Texture Filtering. This gives you slightly better textures at the cost of some performance. It's up to you if you'd like to crank it up, down, or leave it the same. If you play games with OpenGL and VSync, you can enable the triple buffering to transition more smoothly in game. Otherwise, just keep it off. Lastly here, Radeon Chill is used to conserve power when your FPS is through the roof in supported games. It's mostly something I suggest for laptop users only though. Next, go to Display and turn on FreeSync if your monitor supports it. The third thing to do is overclock. Of course, remember that there is a slight risk that you'll damage your GPU when overclocking, so please be careful if you choose to head down this route. If you still want to, head over to Wattman in the Radeon Software Gaming section or your favorite overclocking tool. Now, some people like to say that third-party overclocking tools can cause issues, but plenty of users don't have any problems. But honestly, AMD really did a great job with Wattman when it released with Polaris. I mean, you basically have CPU P states. It's great. Either way, slowly move up your clock rate on each state or use the percentage slider. Just make sure your temperature isn't getting too high and increase your fan or voltage levels if necessary. Once again, just make sure to know what you're doing when overclocking any kind of hardware. It's way easier now than it used to be, but not completely foolproof. Lastly, it's time to install Radeon Relive. It's basically AMD's version of Shadowplay, so it's a sweet overlay that lets you stream, record footage, and control most of your Radeon settings in-game. It's a well-done piece of software, so I always suggest the install. So while that does it for today, what are your favorite GPU settings? Let me know down in the comments below. And thanks again to PowerColor for providing the RX 590 used today. And as always, have a great day.